Welcome to Factorio Megabase in the Book. My name is Nilaus, and in this episode today, we are going to make um, something we've been working away towards for a while. We've been working on the blue sign, blue circuits, and we want to get the blue circuits so that we have now green, red, and blue circuits out here outside of our base, and we are going to combine those into a module factory. Module factory is going to be the last factory I want to make before I transition into an expansion part. Because if we look at our power, well, that's really zoomed out there. Look at our power. It is mm, dangerously close to problematic. So either we're gonna have to add more nuclear power plants or we need to add a hell of a lot of additional solar panels. And I prefer the solar panels. And my intention is that I'll be expanding out here, here and here with solar panels. That means I need to bring, be able to make solar panels I need to be able to get a lot of landfill. I need to be able to do more attacks out in the out and about, and that will be sort of what we want to do afterwards. But um, if if I have this entire base not really doing anything, just kind of feeding this slowly, then it's kind of wasted. So one of the things that I know it will be always useful is for have this to this build a dedicated module factory that I can then bring modules back. Because if I bring modules back, then I can deconstruct this part. And if I deconstruct this, you can see the blue circuits here, then all of my blue circuits can be allocated into here. Well, actually it's, it looks like this is uh, chugging along pretty well right now. Hmm, that was actually surprising. I was, th I was thinking that would be uh, running out because you can see this one is just not keeping up here. So that's uh, holding us back from our launching. And if I look down here, it's kind of getting close to problematic. Let's see what the number is here. This is at, Rocket part 98, okay, 99, and 100. Okay, so that looks like it might be able to get here just as it uh, runs out. That's actually really nice. So keeping up with that. Okay, so that being said, we are going to get our train. Oh, another thing as you can see here, this is uh, filling these up with landfill. We have 6K, 6K, 5.4K, and 5.7K. So I'm not even having enough landfill as it is, even though I'm bringing stuff in here. So we also need to make a landfill factory. So there are a few things that we want to make. Actually, now that I think of it, we also need to make a solar, solar sail, or not solar sails, whoops, wrong game, solar panel factory. And we might actually want to go here and simply open these there right because that will now make sure that we have a bigger stockpile so that when we get started we might actually get started without having a dedicated solar power factory all right cool we are gonna get a train and we have already made the room for it it's gonna be right out there so that will be the first part as you can also see we have a lot of places out here that need to be cleared i think i'll be starting to expand to one direction and then go from there. One of the things that I'm actually thinking of, like here, um, do you have, uh, you do have it though. You have 50, 50 of these, what are they called? They're called laser turrets. I think I want to extend my, that one. Here, get all of that out here. That one, and as we drive, then I can have my builder trance doing all of this expansion here. Uh, the reason why I want to do this is because I am kind of feeling that at soon-ish, they will be starting to knock holes in this and I really don't want to go everywhere all the time to fix this. So let's uh, make sure that I was just like going, how, the, how long is this? Okay, let's get you out here and then start working that way. Good, and in the meantime, I am at this location. All right, so if I want to make a module factory, modules, I'm gonna make both speed modules and productivity modules at the same time, but speed modules will be way more necessary. So probably this will be running out. So let's see, that means I'm going to have green, red, and blue circuits inbound. That's gonna be three inbound, one, two, three, and then one outbound. So I can kind of use this, or I can see if there's another one that's better. I did get some comments, rightfully so, that uh, are you maybe you have some more standardized things. Like this is a good standard, right? The important for me is that oops, I want this standard to be making sure that it follows this pattern, which means this is excellent and perfectly what I need. So let's grab that there. We can get that on. Oops. Uh, let's get this one out of the way and also take that one. So. 
Do I have all I need? I think I do. I think I do. Let's build this one. So we now have all of the inputs that we want. Uh, problematic here that we forgot to remove all of that. That's kind of shame. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, guys, guys, what are you doing? Why are you not building? Guys, where, where are you out already? Really? Okay, well, get back in there then. That was... Whoa, do we have a congestion? Oh, yes, we do. Oh, yes, we do. That's so cool. I mean, uh, not cool, though. <laughs> Look at this. This is this is what happens. I've, I've been... I've been meticulous about this so that they're all sufficiently far apart, except this one is not sufficiently far apart. These are just smashed in here because eh, it didn't matter. I was just going to do this. What? It's never going to happen. Yeah, let me go uh, fix that for us uh, just in a sec. Okay, so we're back here with this mess. I just fixed uh, a few other things in the meantime, but uh, this is a huge mess. Go back and then go straight ahead. Yeah like that. And then this one should be able to go there. All right. So how do we prevent this from happening in the future? Well, okay. The problem is that these two are actually not safe. Oh, wow. It's just, it's going to happen, right? Me getting run over when running here. Yeah. So you can't go through this until you can actually get out. Likewise here, that one and that one. These two cannot go out until they can pass this gate. So that's how you fix this. But the real fix is to get rid of this damn thing. Because how much is even left here? Not much. And we are going to have to find a better solution to that. Didn't I have another one? Oh, yeah, I did have another one. So this one is also here. So maybe I should just deconstruct this part as it is. Yeah, you know what? Uh, I'm just. It just feels bad, like, not consuming all of it. I'll leave it as it is. We will uh, move back to the other location. And by the way, these ones, do they have... I told them to get 100 each. There. Okay, they do have 100 each. Okay, good. So I can get them out here and then continue out on this side. Perfect. I am going back to this location. Look at this beautiful, beautiful blue belts. I know someone who didn't like this, like all the splitting doesn't matter i uh, i don't care i like it it's all just splitting in twos and uh, it, it gets exactly what we want right so we are going back to the oh there's a train coming oh look at me looking at the minimap not getting run over that's nice here all right this location is where we're going to build and uh, that one will be so these are going to be super simple they're going to be just like what stuff we've done before yeah yeah i know That thing, get more of it there, there, there. All good. So all of this is totally standardized by now, which I like. Oops, nope. All this is done, all this is done, all this is done. Okay, let's make sure that we have all of the rails done at least. They're not coming in because I've still blocked off that one. Good. Right, luckily I have my masterclass for exactly what I want here. So that, oh, I'm out of, out of rails. Really, really, really. Let's go grab some more rails. Did not expect that to be the case here. Let's also get some of the other things that we know we're going to run out of. And uh, maybe that one, maybe some lights and stuff. Uh, there, that's all good. And what else could we run out of? That one, that one, that one. There you go. Now, that that's a lot of things that I've just casually picked up. So that should help us on the future builds or the rest of the build. Getting a bit quicker. So here I want, I don't know, red, green, blue, something. We'll figure it out. And first of all, we're going to disable this because we are going to find a blueprint. And this one is... Modules Mark III. All right, so this build is a build that I designed some time ago. Uh, let's see. Let's build one of these and then just have a look at it. Okay, first of all, it's going to go really far up. That might be a problem. So I think that I want to get it somewhere else. Oh, no, we'll build it here. So 
Let's look at the quantities. It needs 35 plus 45 plus 10. So this whole build, this build here is going to consume a full build of red. So let's be absolutely insane about this and just go, you know what? And then take the other one. Heh, <laughs> in what world would anyone ever do that? That one, and that one, yes. So we're gonna make two of these. That means four full belts of red belt coming in here. Almost four full belts of greens and then four full belts of, uh, of no, and one belt of blue. So definitely this one, I have to, just to support this, I have to double this. I have to double this at least. So maybe we should do those doubling right now. That one. This is the beauty of our build. And there we go. Is it done? Nope, almost. It's almost done. It almost did what it was supposed to. And you know what? You can just go straight down here because none of what you build is something that's going to be needed for this. Perfect. All right. Then we are going to have to build. It's really low quantity. Let me see. That goes in on here. So it's going to be inside, inside. Does it matter that it's going in the same belt? No, not really. There. These two belts will now be the output belts. I am going to pick up all of this and get it pretty far down here, though. Let's just make it here just to get a sense of it. And it's pretty obvious for me, at least, that... Hold on, here might be an issue. Uh, this is the blue belt coming in. Blue, 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 blue. Oh, okay, it merges into the side. Perfect, so I don't need to sort of balance it out. I can make it here. Here, here. And then obviously that one. Yes. So now it's not disrupting anything else. Yes, it's the same place. Good. So that's pretty simple. Then I'm going to get the red belts out. And how big do we want those? Oh, actually, this is not how I usually do things, right? I usually have the horizontal lines being straight yeah and the other one's jumping over that kind of breaks it here anyway um that would have to be from here to there you know what i'm gonna take this out oh yeah that's not how things work There, that's good. And this one should also be ghostly because we're definitely going to move it again. And this will be red. This will be red. And this will be red. So I'm going to need now to go red. Oh no, they're actually, they're actually just good doing this one there. Red inbound here. Okay, and then kind of the same, I guess, just different for that one. Yeah, I could build it up here. Then it's just the like one space between. But I'm also kind of feeling if I do this, then I really should be doing it like that. Yeah, that makes more sense, right? Then it's as close as possible that we can make it. Cool. Nope. Okay, that's that's pretty good. This one will be green. So green on top and then green, red, blue. Sweet. We know definitely we have some plates. Oh, they're, they're building. They're doing stuff. Okay, excellent. Can I do that one? No. Nope. Um, let's take the green unloader here. That's looking like a really nice green unloader.
there. That's a nice green unloader, except that all the stuff that's missing. That one. And then all of this goes out, obviously. All of this goes out. Oh no, look at that. It's actually one off. All of that thing goes out. And this one and this one are not really decided there. Oh, can I move the whole damn thing one tile down? Yeah, I can. Sure, 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 sure. Let's take all of this out. Sure. And then we just undo that and undo that and... Oh, that's excellent. Sweet. Let me build one more of these because I like it. That will be the unloader there and it'll be the unloader there. Except this unloader is not going to be four belts. It's just, this is the blue belt. So blue belts only only one single belt here. So we can build it there with and that's good and this one is also good i'm gonna be turning this no only ghost lease <laughs> funny how i there wrong way right so they are now going up here and then i have these two and i want a loading location uh that's going to be a bit different loading location because it's yeah where do i have a loading location let me just get a random loading location that's a random loading location and then we'll adjust it from there so definitely not going to do this and So what I think I want to do here is I want two in here and because this is also the stockpile. So each one will stockpile 2,400 modules. That's a lot. And that's the part I, I want to just keep that in check so I don't spend all of my time and all of my resources doing this. So, oops. two three four and i need that one here good so what i need to do here is to get these two in can they actually go in the this way they can go in that way but they can also just go in in a less stupid way so here i'm gonna do that that and There. And there will be these two will be coming out from this side. Trying again with the trying to make things like logical and let's use this one as a Okay, now I'm drawing them full because I know that I'm gonna need it like this. We should also go check the other belts or the other construction location to see if our additional red is working and there. How's that working? Well, uh, kind of. It's kind of working. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Isn't it though? Is it though? I don't know. This is going to be the last thing I want to build here. That's working. All right. I am going to start working on this one. And the first things I want to do is make some locations here. This will definitely have get a new name. It's going to be called like this. That's done. And then this will be blue. Oh, no. Uh, I don't have anything that requests blue yet, I think. There. That's going to be the first blue. This is going to be the first... Well, not the first, but the red insert in pound. And that's going to be green inbound. Yep. And these quantities are adapted to being this. Yes. This one will have to be less because it is a green. 72. Ah, uh, that's pretty insane. 
32. Maybe I don't want that. Maybe I just want 50. Yes. And a maximum of two, which kind of invalidates all of the all of that balance up. Cool. I am going to enable my robots. I'm happy with this build. Oh, hold on. I'm not happy with it. Stop working. I'm just looking at something here that doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, why not make it just a bit closer? There we go. It's just excess belts for no reason. And how is this one coming along? Uh, you are still, there's still some things you haven't done yet. And that's pretty bad that we are actually out of that. All right, I'm going to accept it. And then I'm going to get you back up there. And then I still want to go down there and fix the last bits. And in the meantime, this is working. Let's have a look here. That is now built. It. That means we should see things coming in. That one is also coming in. Uh, what I'd like to do, though, is if I look at this, I have here. I have two of these trains. That's just not cutting it, is it? I'm going to have four of those trains. Let's get those out. That one will be blocked because it can't go anywhere. And what about the... I wonder if plastic actually is enough. How much plastic do we have? We have three plastic. That fits. And then green ones. What about green ones? How many greens do we have? We have nine greens. Nine greens? No, no, no. That's not it. This one. I have six greens. That fits. That's three times what I what I have. Okay. Let's uh, keep going here with the, the build. Unfortunately, we have this one. I know there's been a few modules uh, or sort of mod recommendations for what I should get for to speed up my robots, and I might get it, but I also might not. Who knows? Uh, unfortunately, this is going to have massive issues and on the unloading. <clears throat> so get in there, get your get things in there fast as possible. What you really need inbound is the green inserters, and I'm just stuck here building. Somebody, oh, oh, someone said, can't you just pick up more robots? Well, it doesn't matter how many I pick up because the number is constrained by how many robots I have. They can only support 25, so that's four of those. So it is 100 in total. So any more robots doesn't make a difference because, yeah, they're not going to be working. And right now, yeah, nothing is working. I'm just waiting for them to fly out again. And I will be checking here. There should be like a massive influx of robots very, very soon. Or massive influx of, well, crap stuff uh what i want to do as well here is maybe just start rolling over through this one might as well start paving this because we're gonna have to pave out here we did have one of these right anywhere where is it no maybe it was under here no i was pretty sure i had one that uh that had uh, something below it Huh. There we go. That's the one. So it was actually in, in this blueprint. Cycle through all of these beautiful blueprints. I hope you appreciate them. Then I'm going to do that as well. And then take my green ones, green fellas out there. See, we have the perimeter defense, so that's not a problem. Okay, they are almost working. Let's see how much is missing here. I miss a lot. Are you good? You're good. You are getting the greens, right? You're getting green stuff in. Let me just check. Yeah, you have green stuff. So let's hurry up and get down there. Good. And I am missing for this location. Oh, right. It doesn't register because I still don't have here. So right now I don't have a robot port around me. Sort of officially. I should have that now. Okay. So that's 130 of the speed modules. There must be something more than speed modules, right? Yeah. More speed modules as well. Let's get up here. And there's also missing some other things. That means we should not highlight it just yet or just activate it just yet there. Oh, hold on. When I copied it, I forgot that one. That's like the most important thing. There. Sweet. Uh, this one somehow is not powered. Okay. And then obviously I also need some Roboports. Q. Q. 
Can I get all the robot ports into one location? Nope. Can I get it from here? Eh. Dodgy. And over on the side. Actually, it is possible. That's crazy. I can just reach that one. All right. Well, then that's that's how we do that in this location. And I think we have everything ready, except there are no trains for this one. So let me go grab a train up here. This one will go from blue to blue. Go from blue. And I just want one of those uh, full. No. Blue. Oh, my God, that's difficult. Full cargo and go to. Oh, it's not connected. That's why it's not working. Empty, but you can still go in there. Yep, sure. Let's have a look at the other ones. Uh, this one will should have four of them elevatable. This one should have six. That is somewhat maybe enough. And I think we got everything sorted. Now I can hook this one up. And I'm going to get all of this. And I don't think I need anything else. Oops. Now, uh, yeah. Actually, just... Uh, you really shouldn't be there. Let's see if I can get everything sorted here. I think I can. Now, robot ports work a lot worse if you have a million... Uh, landfill also trying to be made at the same time but looks like everything is working at this point good um hmm where's my train this train here this one should just not do that anymore it should just go back home and i can then start the massive expansion out here i don't think i want this so when we're doing it well it'll give us more we'll go go up and on the here, this is working. And of course, these are going to be super uneven because of, let me see. It's just weird that this one is so uneven, but I guess it's just maybe that exact one was missing. Let's get the white drones back. And let's see if the things are coming in here. Looking good. We got the blues. And I'm going to get another, build another train here. And the first ones will be the blue science, so I can filter these. And this will obviously need to go back into the main factory when it's full. Copy, paste, and this will be... Basically, I am... Okay, if you're not familiar with this, middle click and then select the filter, then shift right click to copy and then shift left click to paste. It's a neat trick. It works with some things for some reason, unknown to me, it doesn't work with boxes, but it works with uh, train wagons. Don't get it, but it does. It's just like that. And that will go from here and then until it is full cargo. Yes, cool. Um, yeah, things are not working as well as they could be. Whoops. And also, I don't think this is going to work as well as it could be. Oh, that's a lot of small bugs here. Good. I just wanted to make sure that I was ready for it when it started. And now it is ready and it's working and it started and looking amazing. And we should see the first ones. So this one is built at ratio. You can see some of them are missing a few things. And if we look at how much this will be using, consuming, building, look at the ratio here. Exact. Look at the ratio. Pretty much exact. And 180 red science, red circuits. And yeah, a lot of stuff. And it's just going to produce a very, very modest 0.7 per second of each. Not much. Not much at all. And they will go in here. Come on, you can do this. I want to see that as soon as it, it just filters in, we now we can't see if it's full or it, if it's empty. So that's good. And are they not coming in or would, is it just like the length of the belts that makes it go slightly slower? Cool. That is going to be like a B 
big, big, big step forward. That's gonna work. This is gonna work. This might actually need to get up and be bigger. There is one more thing I'd like to do in this episode, even though we're sort of running a bit lo longer on this, but uh, that is building a location for landfill. Now we have some stone breaks out here. This one is gonna be feeding our main base. That's gonna be fine. So is this one. And let me also just build this here. And But I want a location like this that's dedicated to just making landfill. So let's go there and make that landfill train. Look at that, it's working. It's not working fast, but it's working. Do I have what I need? I don't think so. I think I'm just gonna go up there and then just uh, get the stuff built. And I think I'm missing a lot of stuff. What? Okay, I thought there was a weird thing. And of course, this blueprint will be available as they always are for anything I build. There will be blueprints available for you to put into your own base as you like. This is automatically refueling, automatically emptying, automatically everything, and automatically consuming four full belts of red circuits. So yeah, um, is this even enough? I don't even know. Let's see how much is this one producing. This is, okay, this is producing almost three belts. So we'll have enough to keep this running and this one will be the one that feeds the entire base i have a suspicion that we're almost running out of power yeah we are and am i getting yes i am getting a lot of stuff coming in here just removing all of that and then all of these are coming in i could probably have gone a bit closer maybe i should have maybe i should have gone up to that location that would be much better i'm sorry robots Ah, never mind. I can walk up there. As long as I don't leave any uh, RoboPort area, then it should be fine. All right, let's uh, gear up and then move out to the other location. No reason for us to watch me run away from robots. We'll be. Uh, I'll meet you guys out there at the landfill, the upcoming landfill location. So we are now out here by the new prospective landfill location. So I want this to be provided in two different ways. One is by train. And actually, I, only, I think I only want it by train. The other one is uh, by RoboPort. So basically make sure that you have, or you're also provided on, directly on RoboPort. Let's get all of the stuff out here. That looks weird. Uh, that's all the weird stuff there. Few, few weird ones here. There. So that should be a location. I will give you a much more logical name. That will be landfill. There we go. Looking good. This is going to be assigned. I am going to put up something here. Uh, I'm going to take this one because, well, it's smaller and, well, smaller is not a good idea, but uh, because it might potentially be in the way. So if I can consume the majority of this now, that would be good. Then I don't need to worry about it later on. So I'm going to take this thing here and times two and times two again. That one, 24 of these miners. Maybe just uh, play with it a bit just to see some locations. That is one, two, three, four, five. Of course it's five. I mean, of course it's five. Why would it not be five? It could be seven though, but it's definitely, it's not five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, okay, then it's seven then. Uh, I'm gonna make it. The outer ones are pretty bad. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four five. It's still five. How is it still five? <sighs> what if we just make it like four lanes and then the outer lanes are just gonna be like bonus? Because I don't care if I consume the whole thing here. There, right? That's fine. And then all of this will go into a little build that will be going. I guess it's going to be a four to four splitter. We have those somewhere. We have them everywhere. Basically, we have them up here. Uh, 
with train stations even. There. No, I. There's something about just making exclusively with ghosts here. There. Okay, so the idea here is that I want each of these to build landfill. How big landfill builds can we make? If this is landfill. It can easily consume a full belt. Yes. Right, that's super easy for it to consume a full belt here. And we'll just do that one. Lights, lights, and then this one will be just outbound. Sure. And let's build the same thing here, but then clip it as in rotate it on the X axis there. And that'll be here. And let's take the whole thing here and then we flip it on the X axis this time. Cool. And then I have a single belt out. That's pathetic. But, you know, it, it it's going to be what it it's what we can do here. So let me get that one. A few things missing here. Two, three, four. That one is good. And then I will just get... here that meat merges it here and the other one oh no okay I'm gonna just accept that this is the way of the world I think that's fine hit it uh, there hit it I don't know if I have enough, or do I even have any of them? Nope. Go. And the ro Come on, robots. You're not. Why are you so lazy? The question now is, should I... Should I build, like, a dedicated location where it just opens and closes? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I think I should actually just... Not at this point. If I have multiple of these, then... Well, I am going to have multiple of those. Isn't that the case? Yeah, I might have multiple of these. Oh, right. Let's get this one up and running. Sorry, we get that. There. All of it is ready for a single power pole. And that gets started. I don't even bother with the outside. This is simply a matter of converting as fast as possible into something useful. And all of what we do here, all the stuff we can mine, will be going in here as landfill. This will go from, well, landfill. And then we'll have some unloading locations from full. You know, as much as I think this is silly, then I think it's, uh, you know, a man got, has got to have principles, right? And these principles, they are the ones we have. So we're going to do this. There. And that one. So it only goes in once it can actually fill up a full train. That is insane. How much is on a full train? This is going to be 4,000. So 16,000. So a full train is could be called 16,000. And I can have like a maximum of one assigned to each. Yes. Yep. I currently, I don't have anything. And this one will then have, whoa, uh, set train limits. Uh, yeah, okay. But they, I think this is the right way. So unfortunately, then it'll go out and then it'll get stuck on the loading location until it can go back to one of these. Perfect. 
I think that you need to just go back to your starting location. That one just needs to go. What? Oh, stop that. You know, this is... It. Oops. This is why you need... There. <clears throat> now you can do that. And I'm also going to take this and drive it home. Let me just get it home here. Where do I want it, though? Where do I want it? I'm going to have an unloading location here, and I can have an unloading location here. So let's make an unloading location at this point. There. Because I should also have another unloading location for the modules that we're working on. Let's have a look at this one. How much we got? Hey, look at that. We got 500 of each. I am super happy about it. Like, how much do we have back home? I don't know. But, uh, uh, yep, we have zero. Yeah, so this is clearly a good idea. And, oh, uh, this is this is less than ideal. What is the problem here? The problem is that I don't have enough green circuits built. Yep, they're being there. And this one, let's have a look. This one is 53,000, so it's gradually filling up. This one up here is now leaving. And does it have room for one more? Nope. So nothing is coming in here. Actually, you know what? This one should never have more than one. This is actually a disaster. Huh. It doesn't matter if it's a modern one. That's not what's going to keep it. So this problem... Okay, let me explain this problem. This problem is because I don't have enough production of green. So as even though I have another green, green build or green train coming in, then they can't unload because this one is only going back to the green depot once it actually has... Um, has enough. Does that make sense? No, not really. Yeah, so the green circuits are clearly not. And you can also see here. These are the iron and copper are also unable to go back because. Because what? Destination full? Destination full? Did we just make a deadlock of this? There are nine outbounds. I don't think so. No, it's not a deadlock. It's just really a bit uncomfortable. Because right now, this is waiting for a room at one of these locations. Which is it gets now. And you can see that they're leaving. Uh, because there's three here, and that's a maximum. So it, it just got into a really awkward spot that's going to be less and less likely as our base gets bigger. I'm not worried about it. Annoyed about it, maybe. But that was because we, it reached an idle state where all of the iron and copper were just idling. So now it's working again. This is up to 63. Once it hits 64, we should get one train. Please let it be this one. It's not, though. It's not. Okay, so the answer to this right now is actually just taking one of these trains out. Again, this train system only works if you have more supply than demand. If you have more demand than supply, then bad stuff happens. As you can see here, because they get stuck on loading on, on at loading locations instead of stuck at unloading locations. They should be idling at unloading locations. Well, that actually means that I am not going to be able to do the unloading locations right now. I feel that we've uh, covered a few things with the little also have some interesting quirks that you see, like this deadlock we had here, which was obviously something we could have foreseen because they are too close to each other that's been fixed and then we built our module factory which is doing absolutely amazing look at that 650 for each and that will be coming home once it reaches 4000 of each type then it will be coming back and unloading but not indiscriminately unloading unloading only up to a certain amount which means i'll probably end up with a lot of the productivity modules actually going back and forth on the train and then only unloading unloading the speed modules because the speed modules would be would be the most severe or most important thing what we're going to do next time is uh, maybe make the solar factory or i mean, might make the uh, depending on how the power is let's have a look at the power just at the end okay it's okay still it's okay but not great <laughs> So we are going to wrap this one up here. I hope that you are enjoying it. I hope you also appreciate the fact that now the, there's going to be two episodes per week. This is uh, based on your feedback. Everyone was so uh, supportive of the fact that I proposed uh, the spending two weeks. And I'm really, uh, I'm really impressed by how nice you are. <laughs> 
to me. And, and there's been so many comments like, yes, please, two episodes. But there's been so many comments that were like, I mean, we'd appreciate two episodes, but I mean, don't stress out, don't burn out or anything like that. And I was like, it's so nice of you. So thank you very much for for considering that perspective as well. Uh, I am, um, I'm going to make sure I'm not burning out. And if I am, then, uh, well, then we'll do something else. That's just the way it works uh, for a while. And then we can come back to it. That's just how it goes. Anyway, I am going to wrap it up here. Thank you very much, everyone who is subscribing, supporting, commenting, and uh, liking these videos. So uh, thank you. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, take care and stay effective.